it happened again. Devils win! Four to one against the New York Islanders. It's a back to back win and I love it. We have done a complete 180 from game one of this of this season. Okay? We have had two games that were total shite, and then we have these two last games that have been absolutely phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Devil's Den, where we are going over every single game, and I mean every single game of the new the New Jersey Devils season of the 2022 2023 um year and uh i am hyped to go over this next game with you um this game was fantastic from the moment the puck dropped to the end of the game there were some minor things we could work on here or there but still this game I think was actually better than our last, even though we very clearly outplayed our opponents in the last game. But this game, you will know how I feel about this team, about this game. Beautiful, by the numbers, <coughs> wiped the floor with them. Wiped the floor with them. So, let's get started. So, puck drop. First period, and New Jersey has arguably one of the most dominant periods they have had in, I don't even know how long, two, maybe three seasons? This was a, just such a floundering by the New York Islanders, where Jersey pummeled them into submission within the first, I would say, 15 minutes of the game. Um... First power play, first of all, Devils looked fantastic. The cycling was great. The shots were great. The movement was great. We, we There was a couple of times where we actually threw the body around to help us keep the puck in, their, um, in, 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 in the offensive zone. It was fantastic. Now, to be fair, nothing came of that power play. We didn't end up scoring, but it looked fantastic. So, so good. And we need that kind of power play um, for, the, for the entire year. It can't go away. I know it didn't produce this time. Don't worry. It's going to produce. It's going to come. All right? Um, by 4 minutes and 80 seconds into the period, the Devils had already had 10 to 15 shots on net. Okay? 10 to 15 shots in in, in, in a matter of minutes. I, I, I don't know if the Islanders came on and were sleepwalking on the ice or, 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 or what was going on. But this was... I, I'm spe It's so good. And it's so good to see. Because I know that this team can do well. I know that this team has this kind of potential. This kind of energy. And, and, and it hurts when they don't bring it. But this game, they brought it all. And I love it. Um, first of all, there's a couple of... There was a couple of moments in the first period that I thought were worth highlighting. Jasper Bratt who I guess is on a, a, a mission to prove that he 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 can do even better than than, than last year. There was a there was an interview that was done with, with Lindy Ruff during the game where he said that he thinks that Jesper Bratt has an even higher gear than what he uh, gave last season. Again, point per game player and they're saying we can do even better than that and I love it and and Jester Brad is at this point worth all the money in the world if they don't again I, I say it every single video but I will repeat it again if you don't sign Jesper Brad long term after this season I don't know what's wrong with you I don't know what's wrong with you he's a great player he helps the team he's he's he has seven points S seven seven points in four games so good. Anyways, sends a cross creaser over to Heischer, and it goes off the post. But still, cross crease, good play, good setup. I love it. Um, another one, Miles um, Miles Wood is an absolute friggin' workhorse. 
this guy, who he, he's made some questionable comments the last couple of games about how he's tired of playing for a losing team. Does this look like a losing team to you? Ah, oh, so good. There's a moment where he's basically going in alone into the offensive zone, and he shakes off not one, but two demon, goes right through them, doesn't score, but works his ass off for the opportunity that's given to him. And by God, I love him every every, every game. I love him more and more. Um, granted, he'll probably get like a four-game suspension somewhere down the road, and I'll start to turn on him a little bit. But right now, I love him. He's great. Um... But again, we go into the end of the first period, nil-nil, zero-zero, zilch to zilch, okay? Um, Devils clearly outplayed them, just dominated them in the first period, not even a question. Um, then we move into the second period, and oh thank God, oh thank God, Jack Hughes has finally got the monkey off his back. Jack Hughes scores to open up the second period, and the game is one to zilch. To zero. Hear that, Islanders fans? You're a zero. You're a zero. And that's coming from the Devils. Um, great goal. Um, Jack Hughes gets uh, his first of the season. And Severson gets the assist. And it's a really nice, long stretch pass. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice, long stretch pass. All the way up to Hughes. Who takes off and just kind of, you know, does a little forehand, back, no, sorry, forehand, backhand, and then puts it right between uh, Sorokin's legs. And, oh, first goal by Hughes this season. The first of many to come. Um, shortly after that, Andre Palat gets um, his second goal of the season, and it is a beauty um, his goal is assisted by uh, Jesper Bratt and Nico Heischer. Again, are you seeing a current theme? When Palat, when Heischer, when Bratt, and when Hughes gets points, Devils get a W. They don't get points, we take, we take the L. We take fat L's, as uh, some people I know would say. Um, anyways, now granted, it's 2-0 at this point. Devils, again, I think have something like 30 shots um, in total um, the, for the first and the second period. 30 shots. Sorokin, my god, the Islanders goaltender, is standing on his head for the Islanders, keeping them in it. And he ends up getting a third start of the game um, at the end of the game. But, like, this guy does so well. He played so well. Almost none of these goals are his fault. And the, the, the man risked life and limb to make saves to the Islanders. But it's 2 nothing Devils. Um, going in to the third period. Now a little bit at the end of the second. Islanders are kind of creeping back. You can kind of feel that energy, you know, starting to build a little bit. It makes me a little bit nervous. But I think to myself, no. No, it's fine. It's 2 nothing Devils. This can't go bad, can it? And thank God I was wrong, because entering um, into the third period, um, Blackwood makes an amazing um, pad sliding cross crease save, robbing uh, the Islanders. Um, and I think, I know I took a shit on Blackwood the first two videos. I'm feeling a little bit better with him in net. Now, I do think they should rest him for the next game against San Jose. Uh, put Vanacek in, see how we go from there. But I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with Blackwood back in net now, which, which is kind of nice. Um, later into the third period, I think about I think it was nine nine eleven nine ten eleven not not nine eleven not nine eleven. Um, 9, 10, 11 minutes into the, into the third period. Um, Andre Palat gets his second goal of the night, his third of the season. And again, listen to who assists it. Jesper Bratt and Nico Heischer. Again, these guys are getting points even if they're not putting the puck in the net. 
I think just for I don't even think just for Brett has a goal yet. Um, <coughs> or he might have like one, but like he's still contributing. He's becoming that playmaker. I, I'm starting to love how Palat and Heischer are becoming the goal scorers. And um, sorry, did I say Heischer? I meant Hughes. Hughes and Palat are becoming the goal scorers, and Heischer and Brett are becoming the playmakers. And I like that because now we have some depth going into our first and second lines. And it's nice to kind of have that kind of depth. Um, now, unfortunately, later in the third period, uh, I think it's about three and a half minutes left. Islanders pull the goalie and they score. Anders Lee gets a goal. Um, it's, you know, just your regular crash the net, um, garbage goal kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's 3-1 it's, 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 it's Devils. And I'm starting to think, okay, three and a half minutes. We're only, that, we're only up by two. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm praying we don't go full Leafs with this and blow a lead. But we don't. We don't. Everything's fine. Um, because later on, with the goalie pulled again by the Islanders, Nico Heischer just tosses it up the ice and scores. Um, uh, I think it's his second goal of the night he gets. Uh, it's not second goal of the night. Second goal of the season. He gets unassisted, and it is now 4-1 to one for the Devils. And that is all, that is all it's going to be for the night. Devils win 4-1. We are now 2-2 two and two with four points. Um, we have dramatically 180'd um, on our play from the first two games to the last two games we played. It, 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 it's a complete 180. It, it, we have gone from, oh God, this season is going to die. Oh God, another year of shitting the bed. To going, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have spoken to, maybe I, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I, uh, maybe I ought to pull that hyperbole back a little bit. Um, but yeah, great game for the Devils. Fantastic. I loved pretty much every single bit of this game um and yeah oh one stat i wanted to bring it really quickly um i've been talking a little bit the last three games about how new jersey doesn't seem to be the kind of team that blocks shots boy did i bite my words on the uh, boy am i gonna have to eat my words on that one tonight the devils had 21 block shots the last couple of games it's been like five block shots, nine block shots, seven block shots, 21, 21 block shots. That is seven shots a period. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. And I'm so glad it makes me happy. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this episode of Devil's Den. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please... Uh, like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel. I want to make this channel grow a little bit. And uh, we're going to sit back. We're going to have some fun. And that's going to be the end of it. So I will see you all in the next one. Adios.